I think it means it means being able to jump off a cliff when you um, when you see an opportunity. You know, taking a risk. It's um, yeah, in a sense, it's a, sort of sometimes the world calls for somebody to step forward, and you look around, and you know, everyone's sort of standing, waiting for someone. And in a sense, entrepreneurship means you know, you don't wait for someone else to step forward. You just go, I'll do it. I think if we if we if we think of that, that idea of jumping off a cliff, um, I think a good entrepreneur knows what safety mechanisms they have. You know, if I'm going to be jumping off a cliff, I want to make sure I've got a strong parachute, I've got a good rope, I've got you know maybe a net at the bottom, and those things for me are people who love me, you know, people who support me, uh, a strong network, uh, strong backers. You know, so it's like it's what you've got around you not just you, which makes you the good entrepreneur. You know, the silly entrepreneurs are the guys who think, well, I've got nothing, and I've got no support, and I've got no family, and I've got no uh, backup plan, but I'm just going to jump. <laughs> you sort of think, you know, if you think you can do it on your own, you're usually going to end up splattered on the floor. If you prepare and you've got all those good things around you, and I mean that, you know, metaphorically, everything from, a, from you know, good capital to, you know, good relationships, you know, to good products, to good staff, all that, then I think that, that makes your chance of success much better. Uh, it's hard, I've you know, read many books and sort of my role model is, is sort of a mixture of so many different people, you know, um, you know, sort of, uh, it's hard, hard to think of one um, who stands out. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, um, uh, Ricardo Semler and Maverick, I enjoyed that book, and Small Giants, all the business in there were, I loved. I mean, Richard Branson was a you know, wonderful book to read and, and learn from, and, you know, I mean, and not even entrepreneurs, you know, John Monash, who was a wonderful Australian, who was remarkable. Um, I think um, I just read recently Andrew Carnegie, who's, you know, uh, you know a, a very ancient <laughs> You know, entrepreneur from you know 1800s, um, which was remarkable and inspirational. So I guess it's, you know, read about all these different people from all different walks of life, meld them into one, and sort of go, okay, well, you know, how do I take the best elements? So in a sense, I guess it's a, a duality of probably being a very bad employee, and um, you know, having lots of ideas and feeling, as I said earlier, that that um, you know the world sort of provides opportunities and a lot of people sort of wait to see who's going to take that opportunity first and you know I just sort of thought that looks like a really young piece of chocolate I'm going to grab it first and and in a sense that was a lot of the businesses were just me going to grab something you know that was offered out there and realizing wow that just put me into you know a category of my own I'm starting a new business Definitely, the uh, I started a non-profit called Engineers Without Borders in Australia, and um, but ran it very much as a business. It just happened to be a business with no owners, um, and that that became uh, very successful. You know, amazing growth rates for the first six years. You know, were doubling every year, and um, you know, wonderful lessons. So that was that was probably my first experience. Oh, so many. <laughs> it's like I can make the top 20. Um, probably bringing the wrong people on board. You know, ma making bad bad decisions of people surround, to surround me by. Well, not bad, but, you know, challenging ones. People who ended up slowing me down or some that even, um, you know, made us go backwards a little bit. So, um, you know, my best decisions were the good people I brought on and my worst decisions were the, the bad people I brought on. And I guess in... In some, in some respects, the, the worst decision was not bringing on those people, but not getting rid of them quick enough. You know, the, my fastest um, um, turnaround from a bad hire to a goodbye was uh, eight days. And my longest was a year and a half, uh, or pretty much two years. Um, and of course, the eight days was after the, uh, the mistake of the two years. The eight days was the lesson learned. Uh, once I realised that they weren't the right fit. So, um, yeah, that's probably the biggest mistake.